What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Y'all remember this little club car DS here. We did a will it run video a couple of videos back. I got it running in that video. I think I mentioned something like I was wanting to keep it so we could uh, slam it or lower it or something like that. However, my next door neighbor, his friend contacted me, asked me if I had a golf cart for sale. And well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just sell this one. But I got some parts that we're gonna add to it on today's video to make it look kind of cool and to give you guys a video as well. That's what the deal is. And that's what we're gonna get started with on today's video. guys there it is got the golf cart broken all the way down got the body off we need to give it a good wash here i have a lift kit and some wheels and tires going on here and uh definitely want to uh, clean all of this right here off you know while we got it at this stage i'm gonna just pressure wash it the body's over here we're gonna wrap their line the body's next I'm gonna throw away this seat. I'm gonna keep that frame. I'm gonna keep the seats. Uh, I have a back seat going on here. I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna do with the top yet. We might um, might paint it black. Not sure, I'm not exactly sure. But I need to go ahead and get the trash can out here, clean all of my mess up, and then start pressure washing this right here. Well, I was not expecting that. And uh, everything was going so smooth to begin with. And I just knew in the back of my mind, I said something, something's gonna end up biting us in the rear end on this right here. I just don't know what it is. Well, we found it. And looks like a hurricane or tornado came through here. We have red everywhere.
the bodies. Not much has changed other than it's now nighttime. However, what I've done, uh, the phone actually died. So I went ahead and removed this right here plastic from the seat and uh, painted it along with some of these other plastics over here, the front bumper, the back uh, two covers and the uh, bagwell area painted that with satin rust-oleum black. I'm thinking I'm gonna paint this piece right here next with a satin rust-oleum black as well. And I might paint inside the battery tray area because of the little silver golf cart DS that we had. And I did that, it just, it made it clean up, up in there once you, you know, you open the seat. So I think I'm gonna do that. Now, I was gonna put the lift kit on tonight, but I, it was late when I ordered the lift kit and I ordered it for a pre-2003, thinking this was like a 2001, but this is a 2007. So I've actually had to hold off on that. I ordered some hubs to fit that lift kit so I wouldn't have to send the lift kit back. Waiting on the hubs to come in should be in tomorrow. Then we can put the lift kit on. These are tires I went with here. These are the Steeling, um, just steel wheels and all black with a set of 23s, um, like a deep dish. I think it's gonna look pretty good on there, you know, against that, that burgundy Raptor. This stuff right here has been painted. That's the seat back, it's been painted. Um, after I did the steering wheel, I picked the seat up. I didn't even take the handles off the seat. I just spray painted it like that because I'm gonna put seat covers on here and it's gonna hide all of this ugly stuff. So it wasn't really no need to break these things right here down to put paint on them. So that's why I did that. That's why there's paint on the seat. But also went ahead and painted the front up right there. Tomorrow, I'm gonna try to get uh, some candy canes. I was supposed to go today, but I didn't make it. So I went ahead and painted this right here too as well. All right, guys, this is kind of where we're at right now. This is working on the back lift kit, waiting for some things to come in for the front lift kit. It's now Sunday and I didn't work on it at all yesterday, which was Saturday. And um, I don't know, you know, working on the back of a DS, I'm having to replace all the bushings in it. This was gonna be a 20 minute job. Now we're about two hours now because I've started to like paint the leaf springs and some of the other things that I've taken off of here and to replace the bushings. Once I get it back on in the golf cart, almost are fully assembled. I'm gonna probably need to roll it out and pressure wash it again from some of the spots that we missed in the beginning of the uh, video where I missed on the, on the rear end and stuff. So just know that's what's going on here. I'll maybe pick you back up before we start the front or after the front's done. <laughs> kit is on wheels and tires are on i like this uh black wheels here just to still look i kind of like those so still need to um, set the the toe on the front end i'll do that here in just a little bit this one here is kind of wonky but uh need to do that and i'm gonna go ahead and get the body set it on next and see exactly what it looks like
This was like $18 on Amazon. This is a gallon for $5 and some change at Walmart. And it's the same thing as that, is what I found out. It's actually chlorinating liquid, and that's 10% of it in here. So I'm gonna just put a little bit in there and fill the rest up with water and keep using it that way. So the golf cart's gone. The only thing left behind of it is a few paint chips here and there. I really believe it's gonna have to keep getting mulched up by the lawnmower in order to really get rid of it. I've tried to pick majority of them up and I've done so, but there's still a few stragglers left behind of the build. So still not a bad deal uh, to carry all. We can get started working on that this week here probably and uh when he came and picked up the golf cart well he didn't like the wheels so i took the wheels off of the president here because this right here is going to be going through some changes here very soon maybe during christmas time and well the black wheels they don't look too bad on here i think it kind of matches you know uh one of my neighbors said that there wasn't any chrome on here so the black looks better. So the batteries we put in that golf cart was sealed lead acid batteries, 115 amp hours. There were 12 volt batteries. I had them in a Ryobi zero turn lawnmower that I bought new this year. And uh, once we lithium converted them, uh, that lawnmower, I had those batteries left over. And it, I think they had like maybe four hours max on them, if that, when I removed them out the lawnmower. So I threw those in the golf cart, which seemed to be fine and I gave him a new charge to go with it. And um, it's a pretty nice little cart. So this last shot that I'm gonna include next is gonna show the golf cart of what it looked like once it was completely done and finished. Only got like a, maybe a three or four second clip, but I appreciate you guys watching today's video. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.